Trailblazers to today's tutorial where we are going to show you how to customize lining record pages. A lining page is a custom layout that lets you design pages for use in the Salesforce mobile app or lining experience. Using the lining app builder, you can add, remove or reorder components on a record page to give users a customized view of each object's records. Lining pages are built using lining components compact, configurable, and reusable elements that you can drop into regions of the page in the Lining App Builder. They are a collection of lining components arranged in regions on the page. You can customize the structure of the page and the position of its component with the Lining App Builder. A custom record page can be created in different ways, from scratch using a, using a template, cloning one of the other custom record pages, or edit an existing one. We will demonstrate to you how to create a lining record page and also how to customize an existing one. To do so, we are going to our personal dev org and then going to the setup. In the quick find, let's look for the app builder and then select lining app builder. Click new, select record page and start stepping through the wizard. Name your page new opportunity page and select opportunity. Start typing an object's name in the object field to filter the list and find what you are looking for more quickly. Choose the template you want to use for the new page. In this case, we will use the header, subheader and right sidebar template and click finish. In the components pane, you see all the standard components available for opportunity record pages and any custom components that you have installed in your org. From the setting menu, select Always Show Icons. The icons that appear in the palette show what four factors each component supports. For example, if you add the shutter feed component to your page, it displays when you view the page on both a desktop and in the Salesforce mobile app. The same is not true for Shutter Publisher, which is support on desktop only. Drag the highlight panel component into the top region of the page. On the right section, click See how it works in the component properties pane to find out where the highlight panel's content comes from. Add the path component to the region below the highlight. Add a shutter component to the lower right region. Add a tabs component to the lower left region. In the tabs component, select detail tab as default. Click add tab. By default, another detail tab is added, but because we already have one, Let's change this new one to something else. From the tab label drop down menu, select custom and give the tab a new label, recent items. Click done. We will add an activity tab by clicking add tab. Click on the last detail tab created and select activity from the list. Now we have four tabs created, related, details, recent items and activity. Drag the Details tab to the top of the tabs list in the Properties pane and the Related to the second position. You can't drag the tabs inside the component to move them around. You can only adjust them in the Properties pane. The Details tab is now in the first position in the tabs component. You can click around between the tabs, but nothing changes because the tabs don't have any components in them. They are empty. Let's fix that. Select the Details tab, drag a record detail component right below the Details tab into the green highlighted area. Add a related list component to the related tab, an activity component to the activity tab, and the recent item component to the recent items tab. Click Save, then Not Yet. Now we're going to make the record page more dynamic because we can control when a component appears on a lining record page. 
In this tutorial, we will create filters to display a rich text component when an opportunity's amount is greater than 1 million and is 1. Add a rich text component above the shutter component on the page. Enter this text in the component. A million dollar opportunity closed. In the component property, make the text bold and centered and adjust the size and the font. Keep display as card selected. This setting makes the text inside the component more readable on lining pages by adding a white background to it. Click Add Filter. Set Fill to Amount, Operator to Greater than or Equal, and Value to 1 million. Click Done. Click Add filter again and create another filter for the stage field equal to close one. Save the page, then click activation. You have four options for activation. Make the page the default for the object. Make the page the default object record page for specific lining apps. Assign the page to a combination of lining apps, record types and profiles or assign the page to a form factor, such as desktop or phone. As you can see, not only you can create a page that is customized for the needs of your users, but you can go a step further and customize a page based on how your users access it. But in this tutorial, we will set the page as art default for the object, so click the button Assign as art default and then select desktop and phone. At the end, review the assignment and click Save. Your customized record page is now live. In order to review what we did, click back in the App Builder header. From the App Launcher, find and select Sales, then click the Opportunity tabs. Select any open opportunity with an amount below 1 million and open it. Review the customized record page. Now change the opportunity's amount to be over 1 million. Change the stage to close one, then click save. You don't even have to refresh the page. When you save, the changes and the filter criteria are met, so the page automatically updates to show the message in the component. Thank you guys for watching and let's keep blazing the trails ahead.